guys, it's Janixa and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing. I went a little bit crazy. <laughs> I went a little crazy and I purchased a bunch of polishes from polishpick.com. Not to be confused with Polish Pickup. Polish Pick is an e-tailer that sells SEs and OPIs and Morgan Taylor and you know every mainstream brand, China Glaze at a heavily discounted price. So for example, one bottle of OPI polish costs what I believe is $325. Same thing with Essie. So that's a big discount compared to the usual $9 to $10 price tag that we see at Ulta or Amazon or anywhere else that nail polishes are sold. So <laughs> for the end of 2021, they actually had like an end of year closeout sale or something like that. And a ton of their Essie polishes were just $1.50. And of course, I collect Essie polishes. So I had to, had to go and purchase all of the polishes that I don't have. And this is the box. Oh. It's heavy. <laughs> I went a little crazy. I did spend quite a bit doing this, but honestly, I am happy. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and unbox these. I have not opened the box at all because I wanted to do it with you guys on camera. Also, Polish Pick does a really good job of packing everything up. See, they put a bunch of newspaper in there and then everything comes in boxes so nothing gets broken. So these Essies are like old ones that are hard to find. Um, I've only found these either randomly on eBay or through these e-tailers. So the first box, ooh, the first one is Big Bag Theory. Not Big Bang, Big Bag. So I'm gonna hold them up so you guys can see them. Look at how cute so pretty see it has the older label on there you know for a dollar fifty i mean you can't beat that next up we have minus mauve something like that <laughs> it's really pretty oh, there's a hair on it <laughs> next up i have pound cake I couldn't see the pictures of these polishes online when I was ordering them. I was just going based off of the name and checking my app to see if I had them. So I'm actually surprised that pound cake is white. I thought it was going to be more of a brown color. Yes, because to me it doesn't matter what they look like. I just want to collect them all. Oh, also, side note. If you notice that my eyebrows are kind of really dark and boxy, I literally just got them microbladed. So that's why they look you know, like right in your face. <laughs> All right, what else we have? We've got Swing Velvet. This one's really pretty. And then My Place or Yours. Gorgeous pink. All of these have these little like fibers on them. And then we have Pure per Perfection. This one is gorgeous love that i don't even know how many i bought you guys i know it's more than 30. So. <laughs> i couldn't pass up that deal come on china doll i've been looking for this one van d go it's pretty of course a lot of these are pinks and reds because that's all that se did for the longest time so I have a ton of the, their old polishes and the amount of pinks and reds is absolutely nuts. Next up we have Sassy Satchel. And they seem to do a lot of these polishes too. There's a ton of these. And Pink Lemonade. This one's pretty. Oh, I love this Alligator Purse. Look at that, it's like a burnt brick color. Then we have Tie the Knot pretty bridal polishes. You know, I really wish Essie would get back into doing the bridal 
um, series that they used to do. They used to release so many beautiful bridal polishes and now I just feel like they don't and that makes me sad because they were really pretty. Also the resort polishes, I would love to see, you know, those collections again. Maribo, I believe is how you say that one. Nice pink. And then Miss Fancy Pants. Pretty. Then I have It's Delicate. And you see these kind of, uh, I guess I would call it maybe nudie colors. They have done this over and over and over again. But as a collector, I just want to get my hands on as many as I can possibly get. It's just fun for me. This one is called Nutcracker Sweet. It's really pretty. Hot Spot. That's pretty. And then Natural Cotton. All right, I'm still taking them out of the box here. I don't know. This stuff just makes me excited, you know? When I can find the older Essies, it's just really nice. And then especially at such a good deal. This one is called Long Stem Roses. And then Innocent. I really love this color. Love it. And this one's the one that I'm most excited for, you guys. This one is called Pepperoni. And it is from their pizza delivery collection, I think, many, many years ago. And if you look this one up on eBay, it's like 15 to $30. So I got it for $1.50. I'm so excited. And Skin Deep. Look how pretty. Oh, I was so excited for pepperoni. <laughs> Lily Pond. And bike ride. This one is a very light pink. I, I actually really like this. You, you see, you guys, it's like a trend here. So many pinks and, you know, very light colors. But that's just what Essie used to do. Pinking about you. It's a topper. That's interesting. First Dance, Lyford Lilac, and again a lot of you are probably thinking what the heck all these colors look the same. Yes, they probably do, but again it's just the collector in me. This one, Jackie Oh My. This polish was the whole reason that I placed this order at all. And then it's in the bag, which they look pretty familiar. You know, the thing is, too, with these old polishes, unfortunately, um, depending on how they're stored, where, wherever it is that you purchase them from, they could be faded. Ooh, that Jackie Oh My has a nice shimmer in there. It's kind of hard, probably hard to pick that up on camera. Yeah. But that's really pretty they might fade because of where they're you know stored unfortunately like i was saying and there's really nothing you can do about that but if i can get my hands on them i still like to and again especially for cheap this one is recessionista that's pretty monkey business that's pretty i like that Oh, I didn't order an OPI, but maybe it's a free gift. <laughs> My favorite gal pal. I don't know. That's pretty. Yeah, this order was all Essies, so I'm assuming it's a free gift. This one is Handle with Flare. Ooh, look at how pretty. This one is called Anniversary Gala. And then this one is Secret Affair. Love it. All right, Nude Attitude. 
see again this one looks like one that might have been a little bit faded but then again you just don't know because the name is nude attitude so jaguar oh that's really pretty look at that perfect for christmas and then we have rock the croc <laughs> that's really nice um pinking up the pieces oh this one has a little bit of green to it be right bag that's really nice and handle with flair i think they sent two of this one pretty positive that i have it already now i gotta check because i remember getting this one maybe i'm wrong <laughs> no i'm not wrong it's right here two handle with flares uh oh hopefully they didn't miss something i'll have to check all right, let's see what's in the next one. Oh, yes, honey bun. I had had my eyes on this one too, and it was kind of hard to find, and I didn't want to pay $15 for the bottle. So that's a good one. Bottle service. Really pretty. Um, power lunch. Trombone. Sweetie Pie, and Intimate, it's pretty. Now, do you guys see why so many of us polish lovers get a little annoyed when Essie and other brands continue to bring out pinks and reds? Because there's already so many, and it seems like for the first few years of Essie's, you know, existence all they brought out was pinks and reds so uh, a lot of shekels and then these kind of nude colors again Ooh, shifting power Ooh, I'm surrounded by essies <laughs> mini how high Plaza Suite. Moving Along. I love this one. I'm a huge fan of these types of colors. And Lion Around. This one's another one that I had been eyeing. And I remember somebody had it on their D-Stash page on Instagram. And I messaged them about it. Said I was interested. They messaged me back. Said, great. You know, I will look for it and, you know, get it out to you. And they never got back to me. <laughs> oh, it happens. Sold out show. Do you guys see that shift there? Ooh, so pretty. Boathouse. Strawberry sorbet. Mucho Dinero, Show Me the Ring, <laughs> Overnight, this one is coming off a little more nude here on camera, but in person it's much more of a baby pink. Let's see, Red Carpet Glam. And this one doesn't even have the raised E on it. Body language. Click it or ticket. How cool. Bass fiddle. Love this one. The last two. This one is, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Let's see if it'll focus. Nope. <laughs> well, it's a really pretty pink. 
And the last one, cabby, cabulate, something like that. I have no idea. But yeah, that's it. That was my big end of year haul from Polish Pick. Yeah, there is a ton of pinks and reds here. But like I said, I'm a collector and that's what I... I want I want to be able to get my hands on as many SEs as I possibly can uh, now let me count these and see what I've got here okay I just counted them all and I have 63 SEs <laughs> and the one random OPI <laughs> luckily I don't have that one so that's okay so yeah 63 polishes for a dollar fifty each that is a win to me. It's very rare that you're going to find uh, some of these, like I said, for that cheap. They're usually 15 plus on eBay or Mercari, wherever. Um, so I'm happy. I'm happy with my purchase. Yeah, I'm happy with my purchase and I can't wait to put them on my wall there with all the other Essies. It makes me excited to see my wall growing and growing. <laughs> well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!